guys, G.I. Mary Jane here, or if you want to use my government name, Joey Lee, I am the director of Stoners for Kokesh. I'm Sam Miller, I'm the director for Exotic Entertainers for Kokesh. And I'm Zach Parks, I'm the director of Christians for Kokesh. And together, we are Stoner Strippers in Scripture! I thought we were doing boobs, bongs, and Bibles, so... Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, we don't want Zach getting in trouble at church on Sunday, right? Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, wow, we've got, uh, you know, a, a, a huge group of, of different demographics here, and, and we're all smiling and giggling and happy, and we have been for quite some time here. <laughs> um, it, it, it's, it's, it's unity. There's something missing in this country, um, and it's unity. Uh, we've got a presidential candidate now, finally, who is not afraid to reach out to all of these different demographics, and who was successfully able to introduce the three of us and get us talking, and, and, and we've realized that that it's all about freedom. It's about freedom of personal mm -hmm. choice. Yes. Um, not about your own personal morals or your own set of standards, but your choice and allowing others to make their own choices. So, Zach, your, your coalition is awesome. Christians for Kokush. The purpose is to get the message out that the greatest way that we can spread the love of Jesus Christ and that the greatest way we can spread the gospel is to fight for the cause of freedom. The greatest way that we can help widows and orphans is to get big government off their back. And that's what this platform is about. Um, exotic Entertainers isn't just for strippers, but uh, it also encompasses porn stars, sex workers, webcam models, anybody really involved with adult entertainment. And the reason that this group and people like myself are for Adam Kokesh is because he also does not believe that the government should have anything to do with what goes on between two consenting adults. Or one consenting <laughs> adult, right? <laughs> Talking about smokers, come oh. on now. <laughs> no, I, I absolutely, it's, it's about personal choice and what we choose to put in our bodies, what substances we decide to use, how much of that substance we decide to use for our own personal wellness is something that no moral group, no governing agency should be able to dictate. Um, this co or the Adam's platform absolutely appeals to the cannabis community for the simple reason that it it allows us to finally make that decision and have that personal choice. Um, he is adamantly spoken out against prohibition and that's something that a lot of us have been living under the tyranny of for a long time. Right, right, and the, really, there, I can't even stress this enough, there is no reason whatsoever for the government to be involved in what we do with and to our bodies or between two consenting adults. And through his message of, of unity and localization, um, if you decide that you don't want to be at a strip club smoking a joint with G.I. Mary Jane and myself, then, uh, you know, you don't have to live in the area where we're going to be doing it, but don't you know, why, why? Just why put those ideals on, on us? If you don't want to do it, don't be involved in it, right? That's right. That's right. The reason I'm here is because I know legislating morality doesn't work. Putting a gun and a Bible to everyone's head doesn't make them a believer. And, and does not make them a Christian. <laughs> it doesn't work, and it's destroyed the reputation of Christians everywhere. And it's time for this to stop. It's time for us to understand that you know, the true love of Jesus would not do that. And the true tolerance and the true biblical values are about freedom and letting other people live the life that they want to live. And not right. passing judgment, is it? That's, that's in the book. I read that there. Yes. I can't remember who first said that, but, you know... <laughs> I believe that Adam, Adam is the best man for this job because he has the, the reputation um, and the experience in film or in uh, TV, in uh, radio, uh, mainstream media. He has the name recognition uh, to carry the party forward in 2020. Um, as of the last FEC final filing, he has raised 10 times more than all of the other libertarian candidates combined, and that is powerful. Right. He's also the only other candidate that has truly stood by his message of localization and his integrity. 
uh, his non-aggressive principles and his standing up for the marginalized. The marginalized, and there's so many different marginalized groups, so many different demographics. Um, Adam, being a combat veteran, knows that, that, that one of those marginalized groups is, is the veteran community. They come home, and the VA tries to prescribe them all these suicide pills. Uh, there's, there's an epidemic of veterans committing suicide in VA parking lots after they go in for help and can't receive it. Um, Adam however, decided to continue that integrity, the integrity that the military may have helped teach him, uh, and, and take charge of his own personal choice and his own decisions. He has openly said uh, that cannabis saved his life and kept him off of those suicide pills that are taking 22 veterans every single day. And a candidate that is unashamed to admit that a substance that's illegal on a federal level is absolutely what saved his life and allowed him to be the successful activist that he's been since coming back. Right. That's a candidate that that's what we, we need. Yeah. Absolutely. Definitely. It's 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 time that 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 there is an end to to all of the judgment being done, right. the the stigmatizing of the different demographics, um, and and we're going to accept nothing less than a complete end of the drug war. Amen to that. He's also the only other candidate that can bring in people that nobody else has or can. Adam's message of localization is the most principled message of liberty in this election. It is the fulfillment of the first American Revolution, and I hope that every libertarian, every American can get behind this. If you like what you've heard, go to kokeshforpresident.com, join the revolution, and this can be the final American Revolution. I hope to see everybody on the polls. At the polls. Oh, right. <laughs> and I'm the one who's supposed to be high. <laughs> <laughs>